Did you know that an estimated 1 billion people worldwide are deficient or insufficient in vitamin D? Hello friends, I'm Dr. Ratna and welcome to the Enable family. Today, let's discuss the role of vitamin D and bone health in children. There are numerous musculoskeletal issues that a child may face on his journey to adulthood. The aim of this channel is to spread parental awareness regarding bone, joint and muscle health in growing children so that treatable conditions can be managed in a timely manner. Vitamin D is also known as the sun vitamin and it's a very important nutrient for the body. It's a nutrient that helps to maintain strong bones. It helps to absorb calcium from the food and deposit them in the bone, thus improving the bone mineral density. But if your child frequently complains of strains, sprains, muscle pull, muscle ache, fatigue, weakness, upper respiratory tract infections, then it's very likely that your child is deficient in vitamin D. However, the only definitive way to diagnose a deficiency is through a blood test. Prolonged deficiency of vitamin D can result into a condition in children which is known as rickets. Here the bones become soft, weak, painful, tender and deformed. The long ends of the bones near the joints may become enlarged and very tender. Deformities can include deformities of the legs like bowing of the knees or knocking of the knees, deformity of the chest. There can also be muscle cramps, overall poor growth, poor dentition and also fragility fractures. Exclusively breastfed infants are likely to be deficient in vitamin D and this is something you need to discuss with your pediatrician because human milk is low in vitamin D. Children with a darker skin tone are also predisposed to vitamin D deficiency and this is because it takes more sunlight to synthesize vitamin D in the body. Children with neuromuscular issues like cerebral palsy, spinomuscular atrophy are also predisposed to deficiency of this vitamin and poor bone health and fragility fractures. There are two main organs in the human body, namely the liver and the kidneys, which play an important role in converting vitamin D into its active form. Therefore, children having illnesses of either the liver or the kidney are also predisposed to vitamin D deficiency. Well, to increase the level of vitamin D in the body, sunlight is the best source. Vitamin D synthesis begins in the skin when the UVB rays of the sun fall on the skin. Therefore, direct exposure without sunscreen is necessary for the production of vitamin D. Modest amounts of sun exposure, that is 15 minutes a day, couple of times a week without sunscreen is more than enough for the synthesis of vitamin D. Make sure that the arms and the legs of your child are exposed when doing so. Roughly 40% of the body surface area needs to be exposed to direct sunlight. Food sources are very poor in vitamin D. Some of the animal sources include fatty fishes like tuna, salmon, mackerel, egg yolks, beef liver and plant sources include mushrooms. Some types of milk, orange juices and breakfast cereals are fortified with vitamin D and you need to check the label for the same. So if your child has been tested for vitamin D and the levels are deficient, then supplementation is a good way to help improve the levels. However, it's very important that you do it with the advice of your physician or a specialist because vitamin D is a fat soluble vitamin and can get stored in the body for long periods of time. Therefore, over supplementing for a long period of time can result into toxicity. 
Some of the symptoms can be headache, nausea, vomiting, dry mouth, loss of appetite, digestive issues like constipation or diarrhea. So friends, click to subscribe below and don't forget to leave a comment in the comments section and let us know on what topic would you like the next video to be. Thank you so much for being a part of our family. Active, healthy kids are happy kids and we are thrilled to be a part of this journey with you.